What's going on you guys? I just want to say thank you guys so much for the first vlog video that I posted on my YouTube channel and I had no idea it was going to get as much traffic as it, as it did. As, as of right now when I'm recording this, it's at almost 2,000 views and I know I'm a small YouTube, uh, YouTube channel right now so I got a lot of growing to do. I got a lot of catching up but uh, I figured you know what? We're going to do another one. So uh, I'm getting, I'm packing again right now. I'm getting everything together. I'm doing a bunch of laundry. Uh, I actually have been a little bit behind. Oopsie. Um, getting all my stuff ready. But uh, so yeah, I've been doing laundry, trying to get everything, you know, folded, everything ready to go. And um, let's say I have a little, uh, a little helper here. I decided to get in all my brand new freshly folded clothes. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, you hide in shame. You know what you did. So, if um, anybody that sees this video that by chance came to the two Georgia shows that uh, I'm going to be going to, you can blame him. Right there. That's Oliver. He is the reason why I would be covered in cat hair. So, my apologies if you're allergic to cats. Um, so, yeah, this is probably going to be like a two-part series because I'm going to be gone for two weeks. we got two shows. Um, we've got Albany, Georgia and Augusta, Georgia. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get everything packed and ready again. Thank you guys so much for all the views and the love that I got on that first vlog video. Um, and also, I also, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about this. I hit 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I mean, this is something I just started picking up and I said, you know what, screw it. Um, give you guys something to see, like the inside view of the industry and I, I'm blown away. So who knows how many we'll have by the end of 2024. I love doing this. Excuse the uh, the mess that I have on my, <laughs> my nightstand. Um, a lot of cologne and medications. But anyway, again, thank you guys so much for all the subscribers. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get ready for uh, for Georgia. He's going to miss me. All right, guys, good morning. It's about uh, 7.20, almost 7.30 in the morning. Um, get ready to leave Cold Spring. And it's definitely cold out. It's, uh, it's about low 20s. It's... It's honestly not too bad, more like sweatshirt weather. We uh, we just had a week last week where it was uh, on average about five degrees or something lows in the negatives. So it's good to see that we're uh, <laughs> we're in the double digits above zero, but uh, it's gonna be really nice when we get to Georgia. But anyway, got everything uh, packed up, loaded in the truck. Um, obviously got quite a bit more than uh, the last video because we're not going out just for a weekend. Um, might be a little bit more than uh, the normal, but uh, it's it's better to be you know a little bit over prepared than under prepared. Um, got my laptop, you know, got to play some video games or something while I'm uh, just trying to keep myself preoccupied. But uh, it's gonna be a long drive. It's gonna be at least uh, two days worth of driving. We're talking at least 24 hours worth from uh, St. Cloud, Minnesota, all the way to Albany, Georgia. So get ready for a compilation of a lot of driving. All right, you guys, so uh, kind of a weird update. Sorry I didn't get, really get a chance to show what's going on in the shop, but it's about two o'clock in the afternoon right now. As you can see, it's snowing a little bit. We just crossed into Iowa and well, probably not gonna have an update till we probably get to the next state because according to the weather, I'll see if I can get a screenshot and put it up here. But uh, it looks like we got some nasty weather that we're gonna be going through, so. Gotta take it nice and slow. Obviously, I want to get there safe. So, I'll keep you guys updated when, uh, when we get through it. All right, good morning, guys. It's about eight, nine o'clock in the morning. We're somewhere in Kentucky. Uh, I've been driving about 6.30. Right now, we're topping off fuel in the rig. And uh, we're less than, uh, I wanna say we're less than nine, eight hours away from our destination to get to uh, Albany, Georgia. So, uh, so far the trip hasn't been too bad. It's been starting to rain. And I'll be honest, I'm probably the goofiest looking one here at the truck stop. Wearing a t-shirt, it's only like 50 degrees outside. Wearing t-shirt shorts and I got to wear my uh, red, white, and blue Crocs. So, uh, definitely getting some funny looks from the other truck drivers. But uh, now we're gonna top her off. Where are we at? Almost 90 gallons worth of uh, fuel. She's roughly at almost a quarter, quarter left. But, uh, but yeah, not much longer before uh, we get there. We should be in Georgia today. So, 
Keep you guys posted. All right, guys. All right. So we just stopped at a Love's right outside of Nashville, Tennessee. I think we're about an hour, hour and a half away from Nashville. Well, actually, we went through Nashville already. Saw Nissan Stadium and everything. And uh, definitely had to go about, I see you. They're over there taking selfies of me in the truck and the rig. Say hi, you're on camera. <laughs> It's Tommy. He's gonna be driving again. Say hi, Tommy. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to uh, check on everything in the rig. I feel like a million bucks. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna ch check out everything in the in the trailer. Make sure uh, everything's still good. Roads in Tennessee were a little bumpy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But yeah, we're about four or five hours away from Augusta, and. Uh, not sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. It's Wednesday. Show's not till uh, till Saturday. But I'm gonna get to relax, enjoy the travel. I'll keep you guys posted when we get to the next stop. Well, guys, looks like we finally made it to uh, Albany, Georgia. Pretty decent floor size. I love the uh, ceilings in here. But uh, it's gonna be another concrete and car show. So I'll keep you updated when uh, we get the trucks out. So we got my truck out. Waiting for Tommy's to get a little warm, but I uh, figured it's a good time as any. Mess around with some RC trucks, so try to get some action shots. Let's hope no one hits my phone. Or me. That would help if I actually had. Oh. Professional videographer. Just like regular monster trucks. It takes one little part to go astray and it completely ruins your night. Still waiting on that thing to get finished. Uh, get the oil pan heated up. For those that don't know the reason why we run oil pan heaters, it's because the oil that we use in these engines are so thick. It's almost like a, it's like thicker than syrup. Unlike my truck, where it's just like your basic 427 flat type of camshaft you know, it doesn't require that much, um, you know, that thick viscosity of oil. So, hence why we put oil pan heaters on the race trucks. Let me get my rear view mirrors out. That's why we put oil pan heaters on the race trucks so that way it thins out the oil. So when they go to start it, it runs a lot better. Otherwise, it's a lot of force on the internals of that engine before we go to fire it up, so. But uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, eventually get that thing out of the trailer get both these tired up because uh we got displays tomorrow <laughs> i love how i just finished that clip rc update right as i got off the clip i look on the floor there it is that little screw right there was what was causing my rc to run like it was this little let me flip you around real quick so this guy, right here, for some reason, completely just came off my truck. So, gotta put that back on, so I can beat up on this little guy. Oh my God. <laughs> Tommy has found a wheelchair, and son of a digger just died in the tunnel.
Alright. 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 That was awesome. <laughs> Alright, now do a nose wheelie. side. I think this is just storage. Yeah, not really a whole lot. Not that exciting. This piece of plywood though. Hang on. So you guys, if you're resourceful enough, make anything into a ramp on just a small piece of plywood and two bricks. So we're gonna jump our sea cars and hopefully we don't break anything. I'm gonna need you to record this thing because I'm gonna need my uh, full concentration. I can't do what you're doing. Right? Just, just, just point towards the. Yep. Pressure. Walk it out. Tommy's on his lid. You okay, Tommy? Can I get a thumbs up? He's better than himself. So we got to quit making jokes before we find out how God is not converted. Tommy, can you give us a thumbs up? We don't want you to hurt it. Are you okay? He's out of the wheelchair, everybody. He's okay. <laughs> All right, that was fun, but uh, now it's time to get back to work. Tommy's truck's actually warmed up, so now we're gonna get it out and we're gonna actually get a truck started up. Yeah, it might still be a little cold. guys well about one o'clock in the morning we finally got both trucks tired up the reason why it took so long is uh well batteries don't like the cold jack was dead so we had to wait for that to charge and um basically he had it plugged in one corner at a time and it took a lot longer than it should have so we got it done but i'm up here in section 117 118 you can see the our whole toter home, the trailer, and then the two trucks. And then you got 
That guy. Little Tommy. <laughs> he just had a mess with me. But yeah. Come to think that we got the other guys that will be here sometime tonight. We got to fit five, five trucks on this floor. Plus crush cars. Luckily, this section down here, these will be taken away. But, uh, yeah, it's time to get some sleep. We got displays tomorrow. I'm pooped. Well, kind of just a relaxing day today. Didn't really get to do a lot. Tommy's coming back from his uh, display. The other two trucks are pulled inside. I guess I'll record them coming through the tunnel for you guys. I mean, again, just kind of a laid back day. Good morning, you guys. It is 9.02 in the morning on Friday, and the reason I'm wearing my crew shirt is because we're waiting for Morty Media. So I don't know if I'm gonna be getting rides in the uh, Carolina Crusher ride truck for the morning people. And then uh, Cameron's gonna be doing an interview with the Carolina Crusher race truck. Um, Barefoot and Rampage are both going on display. And then once we're done here, we're gonna be taking my truck out on display in front of the building. So uh, it's gonna be a pretty easy day. So, little update when it comes to morning media. I guess they had something come up to where, unfortunately, they weren't able to uh, do an interview with us. But I got Carolina Crusher outside the building, all perched up and pretty. But hey, I will say this the brand new monkey bars has got a, a multi purpose. Perfect for putting the sign up there so I don't have to worry about it being in between the tires. Perfect. It's like a giant billboard. All right. Good morning, you guys. It is show day, it is Saturday the 27th here in Albany, Georgia. And just like Georgia, it's a bit muggy, it's a bit humid out. Probably would help if I got rid of all this hair I got all over my face so I wouldn't be sweating as much. But uh, as of right now, guys are just kind of getting their trucks uh, just organized and set up for pit party. It's about 10 o'clock, show start, or uh, pit party starts at noon. And right now I'm just going through uh, cleaning up and organizing our trailer the best that we can. Um, as of right now, after looking at the weather report, um, they're saying towards the end of the show tonight, we're going to be having some thunderstorms, supposedly. So, depending on the weather after the show, uh, we'll kind of deter whether or not we're going to load out tonight. More than likely, we'll still tire down, but as far as coming out in the parking lot when it's just pouring down rain, We'll see. I mean, we got an entire week to get over there to Augusta, Georgia. Um, but it's a small arena here for uh, Albany. And it is uh, about kind of like the last video you guys saw is uh, crushed cars and uh, concrete. Um, it's a bit smaller than the uh, previous arena. So we'll see what the guys will be able to do. And obviously, there were two campus here. They got the brand new Slasher and they got a Stinger Unleashed here. So those guys are gonna be coming out here to tear it up. It's gonna be fun to watch them. I've never, in my entire monster truck career, I've never really got to see Zane um, go out there and do anything in person. Um, so it'll be kind of fun to watch those guys go out there and show us what they're capable of. Um, and then, as of today, we actually do have a side act for the show. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some people here with go-karts. Um, I'm not sure, it sounds like they may be, sorry, I got sweat in my eye sound like they may be shifter carts so i'm hoping good lord i'm sweating like a pig right now ah. so anyway i'm hoping since these guys run slicks on their uh shifter carts for tires 
They're not gonna be picking up all the glass and like little pieces of shrapnel and throw it all over the arena. Shouldn't happen because it looked like the guys did a pretty decent job getting all the glass and all the little stuff off the cars before setting them up in the arena, but we'll see. So I'm gonna get back to work. I've already wasted two minutes uh, filming this little uh, session for you guys. I'm gonna get this all organized and make sense of it. Then uh, gonna relax. Relax, it's not really relaxing at monster trucks. Uh, go inside, kind of get the truck ready, see where I'm gonna be positioned for pit party and yeah, two shows, will be fun. Okay, so as you guys know, I've been sweating like the dickens out there. So there's something that I wanna show you guys. So even as a bigger guy, or if you're somebody that deals with any kind of chafing and you're wanting to get in this industry, and you know you're gonna be sweating all day, this isn't an ad, I promise, but this is something that's helped me out quite a bit. I'd highly recommend going and getting this uh, gold bond spray for where you're chafing. It's a lot less messy than um, the typical baby powder that they have. So if you're somebody that is like me, that you deal with chafing, it's very uncomfortable, especially when you're out in the sun, you're sweating all day. Highly recommend getting this stuff. It is a lifesaver, I promise you. You get it at Walmart or anywhere. But yeah, again, not an ad read, but hey, Gold Bond, if you want a sponsor, if you want to sponsor me or you need a spokesperson, hey, I'm your guy. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go get ready. <laughs> all right, guys, well, we got the trucks and everything all parked up for pit party. Like I said, this is another concrete and car show here in Albany, Georgia. Nice fan stack in the center, a couple of big, you know, four sacks of cars for racing. I got a pretty decent amount of space here for a uh, pit party, for doing rides on the rod truck. Um, got the truck all dialed in. We had to lower the idle down a little bit because when, uh, when we were in Colorado, because of the elevation we were at, the truck wanted to keep sputtering and die. Especially, you know, poor little two barrel Holly carburetor. It's, it doesn't like the elevation too much. So luckily Byron came over, he helped me adjust the carburetor a little bit. So she's ready to rock and roll. Doors are about ready to open here in about 10 minutes, and uh, I'll get back to you guys uh, when uh, when intermission's over and the show's about to start. All right, guys, well, we just finished pit party. Stands are slowly starting to fill up a little bit across the arena, not too bad. We have parked back here, and we got wheelies and racing, and then oh. I think... Ladies and gentlemen, we are just five minutes from start five minutes. time. Just five so. minutes from getting this thing underway. They're going to announce over me, so...
music right now, but we're getting ready for show number two, Pit Party. Sounds like they're getting Stinger ready to come back over here and get parked. I know I mentioned that they lost the, the shocks and skills. In between shows, they're changing out the transmission, and I think CJ's ready to party. So, it's gonna be a good time. Here's the show, too. Let's finish strong. All right, guys, we just finished up with rides. Um, people are still filing in. Just finished with rides, waiting on these guys to uh, park before I can go back in the tunnel. And uh, it's been raining, so that's why my windshield's a little dirty. So, totally gonna have that clean before I go to Augusta. Hey, it's the ride is ready.
Hey guys, so I messed up. I forgot to charge my phone in between uh, both shows. So we're going back. We're still in the middle of the second show, but uh, I forgot to record racing for the uh, second event. So uh, sorry about that. But uh, for those that want to know, it was a photo finish between Tommy V and Zane Ratu for the finish. They had to go to slow mo. I've been running around in case you couldn't tell. I'm a little tired. Um, <laughs> so it went to a photo finish. They originally called Tommy as the winner, but after looking at the replay, it was Zane by like a hair. So sorry again that I didn't get a chance to record that. I'm sure somebody out there will have something posted. Um, but I got my phone back in time while it's somewhat charged. So it's time for freestyle y'all. I am so ready to tire down and go to bed. <laughs>
walk in your good side if you want. catch my breath that's gonna do it for albany georgia had a lot of fun and you know it goes without saying this job it has a lot of perks i mean we finished the night strong all three triple b trucks got through every th every single element for show two very proud of the guys they did awesome we did fairly well with the ride truck and I get asked, you know, what are some of the perks that we get from touring cross country with monster trucks? Well, concessions people love us. These are all fresh pizzas that they just need to get rid of. So your boys are good for on pizza for like the next week. So <laughs> where do I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight full pizzas here. And no, I'm not going to eat them all myself. I gave some already to the Ratu camp that's over right next to us. You can probably hear them. They're loading up right now. That Zane's got to hurry up and get out of here. They're hurry up and getting to Augusta. We're going to be tiring down tomorrow. But uh, <laughs> I can't believe the amount of pieces we got. And I think there's even still more that they're giving us. So, yeah, this, this was a great show. This was a lot of fun. This is my first time here in Albany. And I had a good time. I had a really good time. A lot of great people. Got to look around the town a little bit. And needless to say, I hope we come back next year. So, again, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching um, another vlog video. Hopefully, I get better at this as time goes on. Again, thank you guys so much for the love and support from the first one. I cannot believe... Well, A, I never thought I'd be able to do vlogs, but for the first one I've ever done, go out and reach over 2,000 views. You guys are insane. Thank you so much. I love you guys. But uh, this Georgia tour ain't done yet. We got one more weekend. We're going to Augusta. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some pizza and I'm gonna go to bed. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.